Hello Internet, I've got to just come back on the quickly stream. I've spent the last hour not talking to you, but of course I've carried on doing things and um, <laughs> it's fixed. Uh, if I show you this, this is my drag. I've flashed the bot BMC. The minimum is now 16, 50, which it never drops to, and it's all quiet. Um, I'm getting a reader of 2, 7, 2, 8 on there, but that fourth fan drops down to 1800 RPM. don't know why the RPMs are so different, because they've all got the same resistor in it. But fan 4 particularly gets quite slow. Um, I didn't use any of the previously viewed blogs. These are all bullshit, bullshit, bullshit. Rat's blog, which I thought was good. Bullshit, caveman's blog, bullshit. Um, this, the project Nechus, ne Nechusks, whatever it is, that you do need. Um, but the one that actually worked in the end was this one. This is Martin Denizet's, Denizet's blog. Silence the Dell Power Edge 2950. That actually works. Okay. It's actually correct. It's actually the right thing. So. Um, 47 uh, dB this is max noise level whatever you want to do anyway um, I obviously already had the resistors in place he had this stuff so sudo I, I'm using CentOS 6 here CentOS 6 64 32 bit rather live CD I'm gonna document all this information what I downloaded where I downloaded it from this was the minimal install, so I booted up from CD, opened a terminal, and I run sudo at get install free IPMI, free IPMI dash tools, open IPMI, open IPMI tools, Python to get an IPM. Download all that. It all installs. Then run IPMI dash sensors. You see a huge long list of the sensors. Then wget the this here, uh, downloads.dell.com forward slash ESM forward slash BCM FR WM. Nobody else pointed that one out. No one else pointed that out. That's where you get that from at all. You then extract that. You don't need this line. You just set it to be executable. Um, you can do plus X, um, make a directory. It could be anything. It could be turnips, could be frog, any directory you want. As long as you use it everywhere, you tell it to extract into that directory. So sudo this program file extract dash dash extract into the folder you gave you the name to change into that folder so then w get the nukuskis nichutskis net down into the adjust fan python run it that then does a whole bunch of stuff which i'm going to have to record and show everybody and at the end you get to pick your stuff now i picked the 2950 with six fans alter the two values uh the, the six values i changed them from they were 27 which was 2950 RPM, and I've changed them to 22, which is 1650. Okay. Um, basically, that is the minimum value at which it will ramp things back up to. So that's fine. You know, um, it, this is warmer but cool enough here back here. Um, I then had to run this, which is sudo ld path equals blah blah blah, blah all that stuff. Basically, this query is you as to what you're going to flash. This then lets you flash it. So you, you tell it this library path. You're running that program. With the payload you've saved, I'm forcing it to do it. It's working, finally. I'm going to have to go through this all again tomorrow and show you it. I'm going to have to do it with this one, do it with this CD, do it and show you all. This is the three and a half inch drive front machine. So Post talking about the two and a half inch drive from being different, I just bullshit. I have a two and a half inch one, we'll, we'll sort that out. The damaged one, I'm definitely, definitely gonna do that as a live stream for you tomorrow with all this information. This has been added to my favorites. The DRAC is fine, it's all stable. Um, if I actually power this off, so now it's going to off. There we go. So I'll just pop this up. Do this. 
So this is turning it on. I've obviously not got this under load at all. I haven't even tried to put it under load. There you go. It's running. I'm so happy. I'm so happy because this is the next project. This is 16 gigabytes of RAM. 16 gigabytes of RAM through. So, as well, in the CentOS 6 uh, listing, I went into text mode when I booted that from the live CD. This is a 386 live CD for CentOS 6. Yeah, let's go. Oh, I'm so happy. <laughs> 